some of the exercises were really hard. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I had to do the modified version and the modified version was harder. Hey guys, I'm Britt and welcome back to my channel. So for those that know, I've been doing hashtag 100 ab challenge for the past month now. And you guys know that this is part four, which means I have completed a whole 30 days of 100 abs. And I am more than excited to be filming this video right now because doing 100 abs every day takes a lot, a lot. I mean, some of the exercises were really hard. I'm not even gonna lie, like I had to do the modified version and the modified version was harder. I don't, I didn't understand like, isn't the modified version supposed to be easy? But I mean, it's okay because I completed it and I am excited that I didn't skip a day. I mean, that is so like me just to skip a day, but I didn't and I completed everything and um, I can't wait for you guys to see my before and after, but if you haven't watched part one, two, or three, I suggest you go watch that and if you don't want to and just want to see my results, then keep watching. So we'll be doing the side plank dipper and what you want to do is basically be in a side plank so your elbow is going to be in line with your shoulder and you're basically just going to come dip down and have your the side of your butt tap on the ground and basically back up again. Um, as you guys can see, I was having major troubles so I did the modified version which is basically you just bend your legs and basically tap your butt to the ground and back up again. I thought wearing shoes might help me in the side plank, but clearly I was wrong. It just, I can't hold my body weight up. I mean, I could do a side plank, don't get me wrong, I could do a side plank, but movement in a side plank, now that's where I have trouble. But you're just gonna do 50 each side and that's it. Oh, yay. Oh. So for this exercise, we'll be doing cha-cha abs, and what you want to do is have your back as straight as possible and sit at a 45 degree angle like you see me doing. And you're basically just going to have your arms straight in the air, and you're basically going to move your shoulder blades up and down. Um, when you move your shoulder blades up and down, you're basically going to be moving your core left to right. And yeah, so you're just going to be doing 100 of those. We'll be doing rollovers and what you want to do is have your arms on the ground straight the whole time and you're basically gonna bring your legs over your head and you're supposed to touch the ground but you already know that your girl is not flexible so I just decided to touch the chair every time but you're gonna want to keep your legs together together and as straight as possible for this one So we'll be doing shoulder tap plank and you're just gonna be in a plank position the whole time. Legs will be spread apart in line with your shoulders and you're just gonna tap your shoulders. Um, what you really wanna focus on is keeping your core in one place and not moving your hips back and forth the whole time like you see me doing. Um, I started off real good, but then as you guys can see, I did not last. My hips were moving like no tomorrow. So try to keep them in one place the whole time. So we'll be doing the pillow pass and what you wanna do is have the pillow in your legs to start off with and you're basically just gonna straighten your legs 
and then come back, take the pillow in your hands, and then have the pillow over your head. Um, that's basically it. I know it sounds pretty easy, but every time the pillow gets back in between your legs, that will count as one. Um, so when it's over your head, that doesn't count as anything. It has to go back in between your legs to count. Um, but that is it for this exercise. So for this exercise, we'll be doing side seal. So you're gonna be on your side and you're gonna have your legs as straight as possible and together and your toes pointed. And what you wanna do is basically have it at the top of your mat or towel, whatever one you have. And you're gonna bring your legs up and touch your toes. When you come up, you will be going more on your butt and that's okay because that is the exercise. So. Don't think you're doing it wrong. But yeah, so you're just gonna be doing 50 each side. So for this exercise, we'll be doing single leg jack knife. And what you wanna do is have your legs straight, toes pointed, and you're basically gonna come up one leg at a time like you see me doing try to keep your back straight as possible and yeah um this got tiring after a while so i did switch to the modified version basically the modified version is just bending your legs and doing the exact same motion um yep so you're just gonna be doing a hundred of those and that is it But hold on, first let me just put it out there that this, I mean, this challenge for me was just to get my abs more defined. I do not need abs, I guess you can say, but I just wanted them to get more defined because I know what y'all already thinking, like you're probably saying this girl didn't even need to do 100 abs, why she even need to do abs, blah, 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 blah. Yes, okay, I understand but this is for me and you do what you want for you. So I decided to do this challenge because I just wanted them to be more defined, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy my before and my afters. I mean, I guess the videos don't really do justice. Like, yeah, well, for me, it doesn't, I, I didn't really see a difference. I mean, yes, I saw a difference in just my relaxed instead of my flexing. My flexing looks the exact same to me, honestly, but that's not what I was trying to work on. I was just trying to work on, like, me being more defined in the abs, like, when I'm relaxed, when I'm, you know? And I think... I got that, but I would have liked for it to be more, and I'm not gonna just, oh, since the month's done, like I'm done doing abs, like no. I mean, yes, I'm doing, I'm done doing 100 abs every day, but I'm still probably gonna do abs like maybe every other day and maybe cut it down to 50. But definitely proud of how far I came. I mean, I feel like the video just doesn't do it justice, but like, the way I feel and everything, it just, I just feel more healthier. Like, of course I know just do not do it, like just doing a hundred abs is not gonna get me abs. Like I needed to change more that I obviously did, but off camera, like I changed the way I ate. Because for those that know me, you know, I eat literally anything I want. And it's okay for me to do that, I guess, but, to get the results that I want, 
it's not okay, it doesn't work. So I definitely had to cut out a lot of things, especially like a lot of junk food from my, I guess I didn't even have a diet before. Like it, I just had to cut out a lot of unhealthy things from what I'm used to eating, but the way I feel, the like, I just feel a hundred percent better than what I came into doing the hashtag 100 ab challenge. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I think that's, I think that's it. I mean, I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and uh, go subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you guys next week. Oh gosh, I like, I never know how to end these videos. <laughs> but, okay, bye. <laughs>